With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So our question is, each of the three blocks P, Q, R shown in the figure has masses of 3 kg. Each of the wire A and B has cross-sectional area 0.05 cm square and Young's modulus 2 into 10 to the power 11 Newton per meter square. Neglect friction. Find the longitudinal strain developed in each of the wire. Take G is equals to 10, 10 into sorry 10 meter per second square. Okay, so we have been given in the figure that three blocks P, Q, and R are connected by strings A and B respectively, and P and Q lie on a horizontal surface which is frictionless. Okay, we have to neglect the friction. Okay, now the weight mg on the block R will act vertically downwards. Correct, and its magnitude will be mass given of each block is 3 into acceleration due to gravity is 10, so it will be 30 newtons. Correct, and the tension in the string B will be dB. Correct, so it will be transmitted throughout the string, so here it will be dB. Correct, now if the, in this condition the block R will move downward, let us suppose with the acceleration A, so the whole system will move with the acceleration of A. Correct. Now, the tension in the string A, let us suppose it as Ta. Correct. We have to neglect the friction, so no friction force will come into picture. Now, drawing in the block R, as we can see, writing the equation of motion of for the block R, what we can say from here is the net force, that is 30 minus the tension in the string 30 minus tb will be equals to mass into acceleration and mass is given as 3 into a so our first equation comes as 30 minus tb is equals to 3a now for the block q the net force will be tb minus ta correct so tb minus ta will be equals to mass into acceleration so it will be the equation number 2 and for block p it will be ta is equals to 3a correct so equation number 3 from the equation number 3 putting the value of ta in the equation number 2 what we get is putting 3 in equation number 2 so what we'll get is tb minus 3a is equals to 3a or what we can say is tb will be equals to 6a Correct. Let us suppose equation number 4. Now putting equation number 4, putting 4 in equation number 1. Now what we get is 30 minus 6a will be equals to 3a. Correct. From here what we will get is 30 is equals to 9a or we get the value of acceleration with which the block is moving is 30 upon 9 or we can say as 10 upon 3 meter per second square so let us suppose it as 5 correct now putting the value of acceleration in putting a or or what we can say is equation number 5 in equation number 4 so we get the value of tension in this string b as 6 a is equals to 6 into 10 upon 3 or we can say as 20 newtons correct now the ta comes to us as 3 into a correct so 3 into 10 upon 3 so it will be 10 newtons so tension in this string a and tension in this string b we have calculated now from here what we can get is the stress in this string a and stress in this string b so calculate the stress in this string b it will be the tension in the string B upon the cross-sectional area. Tension we have calculated as 20 Newton and cross-sectional area given to us is 0 0.005 centimeter square. So converting it into meter square. From here we will get as 4 into 10 raised power 7 Newton per meter square as the stress for the string B and for string A it will be TA upon A. TA we have calculated as 10 newtons upon 0 0.005 into 10 raised power minus 4 and it will come as 2 into 10 raised power 7 newton per meter square.
correct now we have calculated the stress so we can calculate the strain for the or the longitudinal strain for the wire b and it will be stress in the wire b upon the young's modulus stress we have calculated as 4 into 10 raised to power 7 and the young's modulus given to us is 2 into 10 raised to power 11 from here it will come as 2 into 10 raised to power minus 4 and the longitudinal stress strain in the wire a it will be sigma a upon e sigma a we have calculated as 2 into 10 raised to power 7 and e we have given as 2 into 10 raised to power 11 so from here it will be 10 raised to power minus 4 correct so our finally the answers will be the strain in the wire b will be 2 into 10 raised to power minus 4 and strain in the wire a will be 10 raised to power minus 4 so this is the required answer okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today